Good morning, Crossroads South, and happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, May 22nd. It is another B day today. Um, I want to bring some reminders to your attention. HAP. You must be in HAP. We've been doing a tiny bit better. There's a lot of floating around and people are like, oh, I have a pass. If I see you during HAP, you better have this out and it better have a single name on it uh, because we have a lot of people that are saying, oh, I'm floating here, I'm floating there, and it's not an accurate pass. So I don't even know what this says, but you know what I'm talking about. And there are so many students who follow the rules and do a great job, so make sure that you are one of them. You are not floating back and forth. If you are going to a teacher for extra help, you have a pass. Tap, stay in class, and then you're in there, okay? Teachers, I'm asking for you to not write open passes for kids to go everywhere. Not appropriate. We, um, You're not in the halls, so it gets a little crazy, so you might not see it, but please stop writing open passes for people. Only the receiving teacher should write a pass, um, which means they have agreed to take the students. So I know oftentimes Mrs. Dovis has a lot of students. She's agreed to take a lot of the students. I know that music is looking for their students to come down if it's a possibility. They're, they've agreed to take those students, but please don't just write a student a pass and hope that somebody's there, all right? So let's tighten down on HAP. All right, um, a few other announcements. Last night here at Crossroads South, we had a beautiful concert, our second band concert of the spring season. Last night was our concert band. What a fantastic performance. Um, I have to say I'm biased. My favorite piece was the last piece that you played. And for anybody who didn't get a chance to see the concert, you missed something spectacular. It was one of the coolest pieces I've heard. Um, so congratulations to all of our concert band members and especially our percussionists. Um, it was very, very cool. Uh, that was that was awesome. Um, and then we had our jazz ensembles and our jazz bands, and they were equally as amazing. Excellent job. All of our soloists, all of our musicians that performed, congratulations to each of you. Um, truly, truly remarkable. I did have a parent stop me at the end and said, um, Ms. Capes, is it okay if I continue to come back even if my student doesn't go to Crossroads South? They said, I'd rather come to these concerts and hear these performances than go to Broadway. So that is a huge compliment to you. They go, why should I waste the money to go into New York City? So, um, and see a show when I can come here to South Brunswick and see something that is absolutely spectacular or listen to musicians that are absolutely amazing. So I don't think you realize how good you are. So uh, give yourselves a good old pat on the back. Excellent, excellent. Um, and tonight we have our choir concert. So a huge shout out to our choir kids. I'm looking forward to hearing all of the choral ensembles. Don't forget your concert is at South Brunswick High School. You will arrive. I know that Miss Foreman has given you all of the instructions. You will arrive. You'll be there. Here's a note for all of you. Do not have your cell phone on your person, yourself. You are a performer. It does not include your cell phone unless you're doing the hymn of axiom, which requires you to have a cell phone. And if you know, you know, if you don't, you'll find out one day. But otherwise, you are not having your cell phone on you. So leave it in your coat, in your bag, in a little bag in the rooms. Um, but I do not want to take cell phones at the concert uh, because it's distracting to everybody and to yourself. Be in the performance mode. All right, so choirs, I'm looking forward to your concert tonight. Very exciting. Um, let's see, tomorrow, Thursday, we have our eighth grade presentation by Mr. Hendricks and one of the assistant principals at South Brunswick High School, as well as clubs and activities. So we'll be looking forward to that. For anybody sending eighth graders at 2.15, we need to be in the auditorium ready to go. And then when they are done, they will come back to you for their things. So do not send them with their items. Um, and I'll give you that reminder tomorrow. All right, folks, I think that's about everything. I'm gonna skip the behavior reminder because you should know. You should know. Dress code. You should know. All right. That concludes our morning announcements. Please stand for the salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Have an awesome day, Crossroads.